Bonding wood with epoxy and fiberglass is actually really simple to do. All you need to do is cover everything in a wet coat of resin, add a fillet in the corner, and then cover everything in fiberglass tabbing. Let's walk through the different steps as we go. So I'm using the West System Epoxy, which stands for Wood Epoxy Saturation Technique, which is literally what we're doing. So we saturate the wood with epoxy, and then everything hardens together. At this step, I'm simply taking a paintbrush, a chip brush in this case, and covering everything with a coat of resin and hardener that's been properly mixed. This wets the surface for the following step, which in our case will be the fillet which fills the corner. If you simply have a very sharp right angle, the fiberglass tabbing that goes between the horizontal board and the vertical board will have too sharp of an angle in the middle, which will be a stress point and a weak point. Filling the corner with thickened epoxy helps even out the curve and makes it much less of a sharp angle. This reduces the stress on the fibers that are going to follow and makes the whole structure a lot stronger. The process is really simple. All you need to do is mix up the resin and the hardener per their proper amounts, mix them thoroughly, and then add the thickening agent, which in our case is a powder. The powder is added to the mixed resin until it thickens into more of a peanut butter-like consistency. If it's too runny, simply add more powder. If it's too thick, or it's reached the proper thickness, then dump out the extra powder, that way you don't thicken it any further. Now comes the really simple part. You're simply going to take the thickened epoxy and smear it into the corner. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be too perfect with it at this point. Later on, we'll smooth it all out and make it perfect. For now, all we need is the bulk of material in the corner. Let's speed things up now, shall we? You need to keep the material at the end of the stick, that way you're able to smear it into the gap. If you find that it's working its way up towards the handle, uh, simply scrape it using the cup that you're mixing it in to get it onto the tip and then smear it back into place. You can see there's a bit of excess forming above and below the area we're working. Later on we'll simply go through, scrape that off, and put it all back where it needs to be. Now that we have the majority of the bulk in place, we smooth it off. All we do is set the stick at an angle between the horizontal and the vertical parts and slide it across smoothly. Once everything's been smoothed out, we go back to the paintbrush using unthickened epoxy and we simply paint over the area. That'll wet the surface again, and it'll help smooth out any unevenness that might exist in this fillet. Congratulations! That cornered angle thing that you just put in is called the fillet, and that reduces the stress that exists in the corner on the fiberglass and makes the corner a lot stronger. Now we're just fitting the dry fiberglass cloth that's going to run in like a ribbon and act as the tabbing that goes between the horizontal and the vertical components. This is why we need the fillet. If we didn't have the fillet, the angle that would exist at the corner would be so sharp that the fiber glass strands would actually crack and break. Now we're just painting resin onto the cloth to wet it, that way it adheres and bonds to the wood on both sides. This cloth is called the tabbing because it extends the surface area contacting the wood from just a little bit of wood at the seam to up onto the sides. This adds surface area to the glued joint surface and by having more surface area it has more grab and then more strength. All you need to do now 
is continue to put more unthickened epoxy onto the cloth until the cloth goes clear and it blends in and adheres completely to the wood. If you see any bubbles, simply go back with the paintbrush and kind of push on them with a lot of resin and that'll help kind of get the air to come out and get more resin to go in. Any air bubbles are going to be points where there is a lack of glue and therefore weakness in the whole structure. So you want to have as few of those as possible, that way you have a really good strong joint. That's it, you're done. Now all you need to do is let it cure. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much!